This is the train that carried human waste from parts of New York and New Jersey to Big Sky Environmental in Adamsville in 2017 and 18. After months of complaints from people living in the area, the train stopped coming to town in 2018. Many hoped the train was gone for good, but that is not the case. WVTM 13 Sarah Killian investigates finding evidence the train is back. It's a story not easily forgotten, the poop train. For months in 2017 and 18, it rolled into Jefferson County, carrying human waste from parts of New York and New Jersey. People living in West Jefferson, Adamsville and Graysville were terrorized by an odor that some described as a decomposing body. It smelled just like I had run over a corpse. But by the summer of 2018, Big Sky Environmental vowed to stop hauling in the out of state waste. It appeared to be a victory for people in the area. But West Jefferson resident David Brassfield had his doubts. Really, I really never thought it was gone because I knew that uh, that Big Sky was uh, very aggressive at getting this, this waste into this area and, and making the money they're going to make off of it. And Brassfield was right. For the last few months, he's heard rumors about Big Sky Environmental building their own rail spur on their property. This month, the Alabama Department of Environmental Management confirmed those suspicions. These are pictures taken by an ADEM inspector on February 1st. They noted a newly constructed rail spur and eight empty rail cars. So what's being hauled into the rail yard here at Big Sky? Well, documents show it could be that out of state human waste. Since November, at least three different wastewater facilities from New York and New Jersey have received permits to dump their waste here at Big Sky. Brassfield feels like this is deja vu. It happened before. And people have a short memory. They have already forgotten it. Well, this summer, when they start dumping real sewage back over there again, uh, then you can bet when it gets hot and it gets good and, and you know, humid, and uh, we'll be seeing flies. But ADEM says this time will be different. In a written response to some of my questions, they said that the last time this was an issue, the rail cars were stacked up at off-site rail spurs, which were outside of ADEM's purview. This time, the rail yard is on-site and as such is subject to the requirements of their solid waste disposal permit. But for Brassfield, this isn't good enough. He doesn't want to see this human waste brought into Alabama at all. Just fed up with, with politicians of all levels. No state should have to be forced or allowed to take sewage from another state so they can profit in this state. How does that profit our state? In Jefferson County, Sarah Killian, WVTM 13. This rail yard is not included in Big Sky Solid Waste Permit. ADEM, ADEM did, notify, did notify the landfill that they had to cease operations until a modification could be made. ADEM is currently reviewing Big Sky's application.